right guys, so we just made it over to the house. So we do not have um, electricity or water yet. So there's not a whole lot of renovation that we can do right this second, but there are some things that we can do. So we're gonna get a jump start while we can, right? Yes. So we're gonna get some light fixtures installed, um, some plumbing fixtures that we got, and just kind of work as smart as we can while we don't have a whole lot of resources. Okay, so we are building this chandelier. It is called a Spudnik chandelier. Um, so in this kitchen slash bar area, rather than the ceiling light being centered in the kitchen, it's actually just kind of hanging right over the island and it's the only light that we have in this kitchen space. So we found that Spudnik chandelier and it has six bulbs kind of going in all different directions. So it should project plenty of light both at the bar seating area and for the kitchen. So fingers crossed that everything works out because otherwise we're not gonna have a whole lot of, a whole lot of light in the kitchen. So I'm thinking that this is gonna take care of that problem. So now that that is up, we're gonna start on this and replacing it with a ceiling fan. So let's get started. We're gonna do the black sign. Good morning, everybody. So 
Last night, like I said, we don't have electricity at the new home yet, so we were able to work up until it got dark, too dark to be able to safely work. So we are back at it this morning. Ryan's out running a couple of errands, so I just pulled up here to the house. I'm gonna start working, um, I'm going to keep working on the ceiling fan for the living room and the master bedroom and see how far I can get before he joins me. All right, so I just put up the mounting bracket. Next is to start putting the motor and canopy together so I can hang it on up. All right, so we've gotten the fan motor assembly up. We have run into a small little hiccup. I do not have wire strippers, so. Ryan is on his way back here, so I called him and told him to make a pit stop at Home Depot and grab me some wire strippers so that I can continue with this one. So in the meantime, I have removed this fan. I'm sorry, I have removed this light fixture and I'm going to get it ready for this ceiling fan. So last night, Ryan started changing out our door hardware in the kitchen. This is what came on it, silver, basic silver cabinet pulls, and we are changing them to these black square, kind of a more modern farmhousey look. Just a really simple, easy way to update your kitchen and add some personality to it. So he will continue on that when he gets here, and then we're gonna keep trucking along. All right, so here is another issue that we have run into. So we are changing all of our door handles to this. That is, this is the Quick Set Halifax um, doorknob, and they're all square and matte black, really nice. I will definitely leave a link to this down in the description because we bought an entire house worth of them, and they're gonna look really nice against the white doors. And we also bought the matching Quick Set square black lock however the door is not thick enough to take that chamber without kind of a buffer here so do you see how this has kind of a a buffer that pushes the actual front of the deadbolt out a little bit so that it allows that pin to go all the way through the door well the one we have does not have that. It, so since this is flush right here, where this part starts, it won't go all the way into the door. So we found another one online. It's not Quick Set brand. However, it should work because it pushes the, um, it pushes the entire lock forward just a little bit and has a little bit more of a collar right here to add some, some space to the door. I will leave a link to that one as well. We just ordered it, so it should come in tomorrow. I will definitely keep you updated on if that works because the silver is just not going to cut it. We are really obsessed with the black square look. All right, ceiling fan one of two is complete. It is up. So this is the Westinghouse Alta Vista 52 inch fan. I'm going to put a link down in the description where I got it from. One down, one more to go. Starting working on that now. Ryan is outside painting some light fixtures right now. Um, just some touch up paint on some spots that we're not a fan of, but they're looking really good. So I'm excited to get those hung up as well. I'm trying to get the paint off my hands. It is a day of progress. So that makes me happy. That makes him happy. Things are moving along. Yes, it's looking good. All right, let's start on the second fan. All right, 
Fan assembly is up. Now it's time to do the blades and the light kit. And then this second fan is complete. All right, master ceiling fan complete. Super excited about it. Let's move on. All right, so we are making progress. The um, ceiling fans have been done in both the living room and the master bedroom. The new light fixture in the kitchen is done, which you've already seen. P.S. This came with an Ecobee thermostat system. I'm really excited about that. Once we get electricity, we can get it set up. So the next thing on the list is lighting fixtures in the guest rooms, hallway, and bathrooms. They're all the same and they're hideous. Here's what they look like. So this is what they are. Just a basic builder grade, very simple light. And it's gross and I'm not leaving it there. So what we're doing is this. Ta-da! So this is a um, three light chandelier that's flush mounted to the ceiling. And I just installed this one in the office. So now I'm going to install it in the guest room. Both bathrooms, the master and the guest bath, as well as the hallway right here. And then our master closet. I need to hang one in there as well. So that's next on the list. I just got that one hung up in maybe like five, max 10 minutes. So it should be an easy and quick process. Ryan ran to the store real quick and when he gets back, he's going to finish the, um, he's gonna finish the knobs on the cabinets so we can get that done. I mean, we are making really good progress. Today's only day two as far as getting light fixtures and ceiling fans hung up, so. All right, an update. So Ryan ran real quick to go pick up some prescriptions from CVS. So I got, you can't really see it, but I got another of the flush mount lights hung in the guest bathroom. Of course, this one was hung, which you've already seen. And then I was also working on our cabinets. I got um, some more of the black cabinet pulls installed here. And then I still need to do those three right there, but everything else, all of the uppers are complete. So one thing that we are finding is that the screws that came with the hardware works great for the upper cabinets. However, the drawers we're having an issue with because the, um, the short screws are too short and the long screws are too long. So we are going to have to take a hacksaw to the longer screws and kind of trim those down a little bit. But once we do that, it'll be just fine. Um, but I think they look really sharp and it's a really, really easy upgrade that completely changes the look of your kitchen. Like I said, this is very, right here, very builder grade, very standard. This very inexpensive, very quick to do, and it adds a personal stamp to your home. Um, so if that's something you're looking to do, even if you like rent and you have a cabinet pull, I mean, you can change these out and change them right back. It just adds a more like, this is my home kind of a feel to it. So there's that. So next I'm going to do these three cabinets here. I'm probably gonna hang about two more chandeliers and then I'm probably gonna call it a day. I've been going nonstop. So yeah, progress is being made though. All right, so if you remember a little bit ago, I was talking to you about the deadbolts that were not fitting correctly. So we actually found a lock and it's actually made by Amazon Basics and I was kind of surprised that they have kind of that modern square deadbolt. Um, they're really coming along, the Amazon brand. So this is what we got. It is a square, but this has a thicker color on it so that way it won't sit as flush to the door so it gives the chamber and the cylinder a little bit of space to kind of push back a little bit so that should work and then we are also pairing it with the wise lock um, wise is a smart lock if you haven't heard about it it's great because there is a separate keypad that goes to this lock and it allows you to keep your same front of the deadbolt um, on the exterior so it doesn't even look like there's a smart lock on the door and it's also wi-fi compatible um, it's compatible with google home Alexa, uh, you can control it from your phone. You can let someone in remotely from your phone. They can have a keypad uh, access as well. So let's get this installed.
All right, guys, so now it's time to put the number on the side of the house, I'm trying to figure out where it's gonna go. We gotta make sure this is very level. So this is the eight inch um, modern letter set from um, Amazon that we got. They are a really cool company. They have the numbers, the letters, they are all floating or they are flush and they have masonry bits and masonry anchors if you want to do it into brick, stone or stucco. We obviously are not doing that, um, but I think it looks really nice. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this vlog. We've got a lot done, but we have a long way to go. It's been rewarding, but also been challenging at parts, but it's going along. So next is we're going to do shower faucets. We're going to do some landscaping outside and fingers crossed that all of our permits come in ASAP because there's not a whole lot more we can do until those permits get approved. We get electricity and water turned on. So we will see you next time. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. While you're here, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to ring the bell so you can be notified every time I put out a new video. I know that the start of this series is completely different than what we normally do. If you're into travel, go check out our other videos. We have a lot more to offer, but we are excited to get this renovation series going. We'll see you guys later.